people. If I'm in a boxing match and I'm, I'm sitting here boxing, right? There's a difference between I am trying to box and I am a boxer. When I'm trying to box, what happens is I get to that fight and I got my skills and I got my plan in place and I'm you know, doing my thing, I'm punching a couple times and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this guy's beating me. Well, I don't have another game plan. I, I don't, I don't, do I, do I uppercut? It's not working, the jab's not working, I'm, di I'm dipping. Do I switch, do I go south, Paul? Like, what do I do? I don't know what the next thing is. And so all of a sudden you freak out, you probably get knocked out. You probably do because you're like, whatever, you know, either you get knocked out or you're like, I'm, I, I'm done, I give up, throw in the towel, I'm walking away. I don't got anything else. I can't beat this guy. I don't know how right now. I don't know how the, to do it because I don't have the strategy. Or you're a boxer. Hey, if you are working on your mindset without working on your identity, you are doing yourself a disservice. Uh, here's the thing, a lot of people grasp that the mindset's a useful tool, but they don't realize how it ties to more. And just having a great mindset, it's not the only solution and it's not even enough to really kind of get over the hump of crazy. Because think about this, uh, I, I'm a former NFL linebacker, played in the NFL, uh, when I came out, like think about what I do in the NFL, I'm dealing with hardship every single day. I gotta show up to a, a job where someone else wants to take my job, literally every day, coaches are telling you, hey Ann, I'm gonna I'm cut you, you get fired, I'm gonna cut you, send you home, man, somebody else wants your job, and you go out there and make a mistake, and ooh, make the mistake, boy, beats you up inside, and you see you feel bad about yourself, but you still show up every single day, and then in practice or in games, the ball's in the air, there's not a question of, oh, I'm gonna go hit this dude that's the same weight as me, going opposite direction, full speed. It, you shut down all that and you speed up at this human being, it's a car crash every single time. The mindset I had and have is different than what you can comprehend at a human everyday level. So I want you to take that and realize that. Now here's why I tell you about my mindset from football. I then left the game, I tore my shoulder, I had to go and figure out my life. I broke my life. I'm telling you, I had all these different, like these tools and ideas and information. I knew what to do, but I still broke my life in a sense of my marriage fell apart. I wasn't a good father. I got out of shape, like all these things. But here's the big thing. When it comes to your mindset, there's a study by George Washington University that came out, and it's a great one. It breaks down the self-categorization concept. They took a bunch of entrepreneurs, or sorry, engineers who wanted to be entrepreneurs and said, hey, we're gonna give these mindset techniques and tools and all these information for how to be a phenomenal you know, entrepreneur with this and go let you loose. What they found was individuals who had a great mindset but didn't have a self-categorization, an identified body of like, I am the entrepreneur, they struggled. They did not do very well. So what I found in my life when I came into my world of trying to be a business owner with a great mindset, didn't succeed. A husband, great mindset, didn't succeed. A parent, great mindset, didn't succeed. Why? Because I didn't identify as those things. I didn't identify at a self-categorization level of I'm a husband or I'm a dad or I'm a business owner at a high level. So what ends up happening is we start running out of the information we need that can be used to make our lives great. And so I want you to grasp what mindset is and what identity is. Mindset, essentially, it's kind of like we're painting a blue flower. This is why I got this out, we're gonna do a, we're gonna do a blue flower. So let's say we have this beautiful flower here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna call it a beautiful, we have another beautiful flower. Beautiful beautiful flower here. Just bear with me, man. Kind of weird sometimes. This is who I am. We'll put a little bit of leaves on the flower. Why not? It looks kind of like a beanstalk right now. We got a couple leaves. And here's what I want you to think about. We want to make a flower blue. Now, there's a couple ways we can make the flower blue. We can say that we have uh, this little thing here. This is going to be our flower this is gonna be here, right? We got this little thing in the middle. We have this flower. And this flower here, we wanna turn blue. Well, mindset is really a collection of, of tactics and strategies and thinking processes and ways you can train your brain and do affirmations and you can talk yourself into certain things, how you're consciously thinking, right? Consciously thinking. My mindset's how I'm consciously thinking about what's going on. I run into a situation, how does my mindset get activated for that situation? Well, here's what you will run into. At some point, you don't have any tactics. Life will present a situation to you that you're unprepared for. You don't have information, you don't have strategy, you don't have tactics. For me, in football, I had a strategy, I had a tactic. In my marriage, I didn't have a tactic. In my parenting, no tactic. In business, information, no tactic. I didn't know how to do anything. Like I, I kind of did, and even when I was given the information, it wasn't who I was 
to do that thing. So I battled it, didn't get done. Success was, was always out, right outside of my reach. So what I realized is, man, there's gotta be something more. What is, the, what is the hindering factor? Why am I not getting there? And here's what I realized mindset was. Mindset was kind of like saying, I want to make a flower blue. And this is the flower, I'm going to do something simple that'll make the flower blue. I'm gonna paint the flower blue. I'm gonna just paint the flower blue as best I can, and I'm gonna you know, have some spots be covered. They're not all gonna get covered, but the best I can, I'm gonna get some spray paint and cover up the white petals of this flower to make the flower blue. Because what I'm doing is I'm throwing some things on top of the flower. You're throwing tactics and structure and areas on top of the human you already are, the operating system you already have. Now, I'm not discounting mindset. It's necessary, it is, you gotta have it but it's where it fits and what it's complemented with that matters. Because here's the other way you can do this. If I want to have a flower be blue, you know if you spray paint a flower, it's not gonna look that great. It's the thing people are gonna know like, hey, that blue flower, it probably wasn't blue, was it? Like it was probably a different color. Yeah, it was, because the paint's bubbly, it's coming off, right? You're throwing different tactics and structure on the flower, you're the flower. Or, what if I wanna make a flower blue and have it look natural and normal and be a simplistic flow so that blue, strategies, tactics, whatever it is, were just inherent, it was part of the flower. Here's how you do it. You feed the flower from the roots blue dyed water and then what happens is you have, in fact, an actual blue flower. Have you ever seen the flowers they deliver to people that like different colors, purple, orange, blue? How do you think they got that color? They dyed the water, the water went through the entire plant. It became a blue flower. So when you look at it, it's a blue flower. It's not painted different colors. It's not you know sprayed and touched. No, it's a blue flower. And what that means essentially is it went to the roots, the foundation, and fed up through the entire plant. Now what I'm talking about difference wise is when I have inherently a specific mindset or what needs to be done that's blue, I can throw it on the body. I can throw it on your plant. I can throw, I can throw it on you. I can say, hey, you need to go ahead and in these situations do this, 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 and this, right? But then what happens is when you get to the outer skirts, the outer edge of your tactics, your strategies that you have for your mindset, for a situation, you're screwed. Because what happens is the filler is your identity. What shows up in that moment is your identity. For example, if I'm in a boxing match and I'm, I'm sitting here boxing, right? There's a difference between I am trying to box and I am a boxer. When I'm trying to box, what happens is I get to that fight and I got my skills and I got my plan in place and I'm, you know, do my thing, I'm punching a couple times and all of a sudden I'm like, oh, this guy's beating me. Well, I don't have another game plan. I, I don't, I don't, do I, do I uppercut? It's not working, the jab's not working, I'm, di I'm dipping. Do I switch, do I go south pole? Like, what do I do? I don't know what the next thing is. And so all of a sudden, you freak out, you probably get knocked out. You probably do because you're like, whatever, you know, either you get knocked out or you're like, I'm, I, I'm done, I give up, throw the towel, I'm walking away. I don't got anything else, I can't beat this guy. I don't know how right now. I don't know how the, to do it because I don't have the strategy. Or, you're a boxer. Now a boxer, a little different. I'm not a boxer but I want you to grasp that I get what it means to be trying to play football and be a football player, but boxing, it makes more sense for this whole metaphor. As a boxer, I'm gonna get in that ring, and sure enough, I'm gonna find that set moment where I'm like, I don't know what to do, but guess what? That's who I am to win. Like, I am a boxer, so what I choose to do is like, I don't care what strategy I got, I am not gonna lose. I'm gonna dip, I'm gonna dive, I'm gonna try something, you are not gonna knock me out, because this is my fight to win, it's who I am to get this W, right? And when you think about the kind of ideas and mentality that has to be in place to succeed at that level, it's not because of the strategy alone. It's who are you? That's why boxers had that persona, that bravado, that ego, like, ha, ah, because they know to their core they're a boxer. They don't know how they're gonna do it, but they're going to win. They're going to win inside here, no matter what takes place, I'm gonna win. That's why you love seeing the pre-fight different you know, conversations they have, because the banter back and forth is cool. It's like, man, these people, they really think they're gonna win. They do. They have fed themselves from the core, all the aspects to realize that they have an identity of a boxer. They're not relying only on the mindset and the tactics and the strategy and the mentality. It helps, it's necessary, but at the edge of that, who are you?
When you can grasp the separation in that aspect and how you show up in your life, are you a mom when everything goes crazy? Are you a dad? Are you a business owner? Are you a, you know, are you a teacher? Are you a speaker? Are you a pastor? Whatever it might be, who are you? Because when life shows up with a moment that's ready to knock you down, how you respond to that moment matters past the techniques, the mindset structure, because it's kind of like going and saying, you know what, this is what the plan was, I got punched in the face. So Mike Tyson says, everybody has a plan until you get punched in the face. But then when you do, how do you show back up? How do you stand back up? If it's not who you are to do it, it's just a mindset thing, you have a bunch of easy reasons to walk away. However, if it's who you are, the one single reason to never walk away is because it is who you are. And you will always protect who you are through your actions. So the question I pose to you is, are you gonna work just on mindset? You're gonna focus on feeding the roots of your soul of who you are so you become that individual. Because when you do that, the mindset flows naturally. It's just, it's not even a matter of thinking, I gotta show up, I gotta do this. It's who you are to do it. It becomes effortless effort. Mindset, ton of effort, a lot of thinking. And eventually by taking the actions, if you can stay the course and life doesn't throw a wrench at you, you'll do the stuff to shift into being that person at the core. But what's crazy is if you're able to have it flow in and you think about it or doing it, it'll just naturally be a part of you. And then the mindset is, it's honestly almost borderline irrelevant. It'll be so much who you are, other people will say, you got a great mindset. No, it's just who I am. When you get to that moment, it's beautiful. That's it. Send your comments, questions below. I love to know what you think about this whole uh, metaphor here, because one that I think lands pretty well for me at least and for my clients, but feel free to put the information below. Take care, see you soon.